I'm Doug with America's Best Restaurants. We travel the country coast to coast to find restaurants that you, your friends, family, coworkers, even your neighbors, should dine at on a weekly basis. We're in the Bluegrass State, Lexington, Kentucky. We are at Winchell's. This is Graham with Winchell's. So Graham, tell us, what's the story of Winchell's? Oh man, Winchell's has been here 30 years. So 1992, the Winchell family started it. And Nell Winchell was my business partner, Abe, that was his grandmother. And so after Ken Winchell unfortunately had passed, um, Nell had trouble kind of taking care of the restaurant. And so Abe came to me one day when we were working out in Midway at the Holly Hill Inn with Weta and um, one of our mentors. And so he said, hey, there's a restaurant on Southland Drive. You know, they're having trouble running it. My grandmother owns it. You want to take a look at it? And I said, yeah. So basically we came in, I saw the layout, saw the location at the time. It wasn't the, you know, maybe most prime location in Lexington. Now they built up Southland Drive a lot, which is good for us. Put a lot of money into it. And so uh, we just said, hey, you know, we can be kind of the cornerstone of this neighborhood and bring the kind of food and environment that we want to eat at and, you know, family friendly Lexington sports bar slash family restaurant and took it over 17 years ago, kind of brought it back from the depths, so to speak. And now uh, we're here, here we are. And you've got a background. You've been in the restaurant industry a long time. Yeah, starting both with of doing us. dishes, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Washing dishes at 15. Same with Abe. I mean, he was at the spaghetti shop, I think, when he was 15 or 16. Um, started busing tables at the same time. And then when I was about 18, 19, I started cooking. Um, my chef, John Foster at Dudley's, said, you know, you want to train to cook for a year or so, and then we'll send you up to CIA in upstate New York, what I consider probably the best culinary school in the country. Trained there and from there got to San Francisco, you know, went to Hawaii, the Four Seasons and cooked, cooked down in Florida. So yeah, we both travel around the country. Sometimes we were in the same place. Sometimes we'd kind of go separate ways. And then in our late twenties, we came back to our hometown. This is where our families were, you know, our moms were here. So we were cooking out in horse country and all of a sudden this restaurant popped up and nice. I always knew I wanted to own, you know, and I didn't want to do fine dining even though I trained in fine dining. I said, I want to do, you know, more family style, more sports bar kind of combo style, you know, user friendly kind of restaurant that fits Lexington. And so, um, yeah, trained fine dining, but came back and ended up opening a, a family restaurant. Love it. Hey, every Absolutely. episode we profile at least three items. What are the three items we're going to profile? Got to do the hot brown. I mean, regional specialty founded at the Brown Hotel in Louisville, and everyone's got their kind of twist on it. We learned this one at that same restaurant, Dudley's, where I started. I just like the way they did it with country ham, roasted turkey. Um, a little different than the classic hot brown, but still pretty traditional. Uh, then we'll do a breakfast dish that I actually came up with. I was on the radio with a local DJ kind of doing a you know, a small promotion mm -hmm. for, for an event we were doing. He says he loves the Nashville hot chicken, you know, that style. So I said, Andy loves breakfast. And we said, what can we kind of do to, to work the dishes together? So we came up with a hot chicken stack. So we're going to do a breakfast dish where it's a pancake and grits and then hot chicken fingers and an egg on top with a pickle. It's awesome. Maybe my favorite dish on the menu. I love the hot chicken. Um, and then we're going to do chicken livers. You know, I figure another Southern kind of feel. We sell lots of chicken livers, deep fried, white sausage gravy. Um, so yeah, we're gonna hit definitely a regional Southern feel and uh, classic dishes at the same time. Sounds good, love it. Absolutely. I, I know you're hungry because you're watching this. We're a food show for heaven's Let's sakes. Eat. So why don't you come with us? Let's, Graham's ready. Let's go, <laughs> come with us. We are inside. Graham said three items. He's a man of his word, like any true Kentuckian. We have three items. So yes, let's sir. start right here. Number one, what are we looking at? We went with chicken livers. I mean, classic Southern dish. Um, we flash fry them. All we do is a light flour coating. We don't do the egg wash because we don't want a, a breading necessarily. We just want the light, crispy coating of our seasoned flour. So the livers stay, you know, don't stay over bready. It's really just eating a crispy liver. Uh, cook about mid well, a tiny bit of pink in there so they don't dry out, but not, not raw by any stretch. And then the white country gravy, which we put on virtually everything. <laughs> of course. Um, and it's for our biscuits and gravy. So it's, you know, a sausage, a real sausage milk gravy. 
Uh, we render out the sausage, you know, get all the grease out of it. Yeah. Use the same seasoned flour to make the roux at the bottom and then whole milk. Um, let that come up and just slowly simmer till it thickens and then that's it. So a real basic kind of white sausage gravy. Some people, they'll say, ah, white gravy shouldn't have sausage, but I'm like, come on now. I mean, can you ever have enough sausage, A, and, who and B, that? who would say that, exactly. That's maybe two people in 15, why? 17 years, why, exactly. So not a standard white gravy necessarily, but a white sausage gravy, so even better. Nice. Uh, next up, the hot brown, classic, classic, classic. All right. Invented in the Brown Hotel in Louisville. I don't hold it against them. We took it to Lexington. Uh, we added some country ham, which we love here in this area. Uh, great little salty flavor and just, we love country ham. Right. Fresh tomatoes on top, a homemade Mornay cheddar sauce, um, thick sliced bacon on top and a little bit of Parmesan, you know, baked until golden brown with a little... Uh, You're gonna have some too? Yeah, I'm gonna have some too. All right, come on. Yeah, let's do it. It's probably we're still just, boiling hot. We're just two let's dudes hot brown hanging for a reason. out, eating food. That's right. Talking about food. I mean, mm. oh yeah, just awesome. Mm. I mean, this is a large. So if you want a small size, we got the small as well. Or a lot of times people will get the large and maybe share it. But ah. so delicious. The sauce is creamy. The country ham a little bit salty um, to give it some good flavor. Just I love it. And then you got the turkey in there too. Nice. All right, okay, well. well We'll have one more bite, then we'll move on to item number three. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Oh my God. It's awesome, it's awesome right? Oh, dude, that, yeah. is, that is good. It's a great hot brown. Mm. Same recipe we've been using forever, same style. And then maybe my favorite all time uh, of anything on the menu, just because I love Nashville hot chicken, is our Nashville chicken stack. And again, I was on the radio with the local DJ Twitch. Shout out to Twitch, great DJ and a, and a, and a great uh, regular customer here. He loves hot chicken, he loves breakfast, he wanted to combine it. We're brainstorming on the radio. I want a pancake, I said, okay, what about some grits? He said, what about some chicken? What about an egg? Let's throw a pickle on there. So we kind of invented the chicken stock. We sell tons of it. Just a plain pancake on the bottom to soak up that chicken stack love, as we call it. Jalapeno cheese grits, that's our standard house grits. So we don't have a plain grit. We always do a jalapeno cheddar grit. That's just what we've always done. Medium spice, we don't go crazy with it. Just a little spice and then the good cheddar flavor to kind of up, up kick the grits a little bit. Uh, three large cut chicken fingers and those are deep fried, breaded and deep fried. And then we dip them in, you know, what I think is the best recipe for Nashville chicken you can get. And because we use bacon fat, that's the bottom line. A lot of people use different mediums to do their spice mix. So we do a spice mix with bacon fat. It's not greasy, it just gives it that little bit of flavor. Um, then a couple eggs on top and a pickle. So there you have it, the hot chicken stack. Spectacular. Mm. Pancake, grits, God chicken. bless Twitch. Yeah, exactly. Good job, Twitch. Good job, Twitch. And then whoever in Nashville, Hattie B's or one of those places, you know, that invented hot chicken. I know they're probably gonna argue on who did it, but we took it and ran with it. You own this, so who cares? Maybe Prince's. Mmm, delicious. Oh, that was good. Like little said, spice, little sweet, little salt. Oh, I love the hot chicken. We're just two dudes hanging out eating food. And and it, yeah, you can I even, like uh, a lot of people just drizzle a little syrup on top. So then you add a little sweet with the spice and the salt. Just awesome little mix, drizzle. And then the pickles, a little brininess too. What a dish. That would just send your taste buds into like freak yeah. out mode. Mm. This is what my dad gets whenever he's in town. Whenever I come in for breakfast, uh, this is what I'll get. So hot chicken stack. Well, you know it's good when you already steam your shirt. And it's, <laughs> first, first thing and in the morning. It's early in the morning. Wow. <laughs> All right, cool. These are just three of the dishes. There's obviously more. So uh, you need to get down here and try this. So how do people find you? Social media website? Yeah, I mean, Instagram, Winchell's Restaurant, Facebook, Winchell's Restaurant, um, Winchell, Winchell's Restaurant.com for our website. Online ordering is on there. Um, it's, yeah, it's easy to find us. You probably can just Google best restaurant in Kentucky, maybe best sports bar. You know, something like that. Um, so yeah, we love it. A lot of teams that come in town from the SEC, you know, their fans seem to find us. 35 televisions, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, full bar. So we, and then we try to pretty much, you know, cover anyone and everyone. You want a kid's birthday party, you want grandma's birthday party, you want to watch a game, you want to do a fancy football draft, you know, you want to have a date night without the kids. So we try to pretty much be as user friendly as we can to everyone and, and anyone. But you know, yep. They also have a full listing right here on America's Best Restaurants.com. So you're in the Lexington area. 
Maybe you're one of the fans of the other SEC schools. That's all right. Why? I going to the races at Keeneland? Yeah, going, you know? going to Keeneland. Well, hello. That's it. Races. This, yeah, this time of year. We're Coming here for breakfast before the races, one of the best things you can do. Get a Winchell's Bloody Mary and a hot chicken stack. Coming before and then coming after. And then coming after for dinner and get a hot brown and you have the best day of your life. It's a whole day <laughs> event right here at Winchell's. That's right. There you go. Cool. So they got the full listing. Get here. And if you live in the Lexington area, this is a place that you should dine at That's every right. week, which is the essence of our show. So. We've already been eating. I'm gonna go ahead and finish because it's rude to start eating and not eat the whole thing. So come down, get this. I'm digging in, I'm out.